What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and uh, we're looking over Speed Dark Art deck. Now, a lot of people know what Zach is, right? We, we've heard about it, we've seen it a bunch of times, but we actually haven't covered it on the channel in a very, very long time. And I thought, you know what? I did make top eight at uh, Portland uh, a couple weeks ago. Sam made top eight with this, so we're looking at his list that did perform very well, and I think it's a very interesting uh, list because it does play douse machine where we see most of these lists play computer search so that's a very uh unique card in his list for sure he also plays evital yaks which i know some people don't play evital and uh play this split with, with sound labs and parallel city sound Lab is becoming more of a staple card in the speed dark ride deck but man, dark ride is just as a strong card in standard and in expanded and i don't think this card is going to go away for a long time and even with the situi running around like a very heavy trainer card deck was able to make top eight uh, so congratulations sam so if you don't know of course we use a dark ride with dark bulls 20 and the 20 more damage for each dark energy attached to all your pokemon uh in expanded we gain the dark ride from dark explorers with the dark cloak uh, each of your pokemon that has any dark energy attached to it has no tree cost so basically free tree for your pokemon so that's fantastic and night spear does 90 and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bitch pokemon now this is great uh you can like build up damage and take knockouts later on with dark poles or maybe with somebody else which is really nice uh, two shame to help set up one even top for the oblivion 30 attach a disc uh, attach a dark from your discard pile to one of your bench pokemon one even tall ex evil ball could be used against like mewtwo and stuff like that if it does go crazy out of nowhere you can't take down mewtwo or a deck that has like a ton of energies on them you can pun punish them with even tall by just you know dark patch and energy and you just Kind of to take a knock out of nowhere. Uh, one Jirachi, which it will be replaced probably by Tapu Lele. Like 100%, there's no way you do not replace this card with Tapu Lele. Uh, once it is legal uh, the, the next week, whatever. But Tapu Lele, just, it's the same exact thing as Jirachi, but it does have a better attack and a GX attack and more HP. So, like, all around, Jirachi is a better, or uh, Tapu Lele is a better card. Sorry, Jirachi, you're great for a very long time. And one of my favorite says Blast Blast. But uh, will be praised by Tapu Lele for sure. Uh, one Hoopa for that Scoundrel except for three EX Pokemon. Fantastic card. Again, Dark Eyes or Shamans or whatever. We're really good. And nothing else too crazy. Just a very standard Dark list for sure. Uh, one Compressor. Discard three cards out of your deck. Which is most likely going to be supporter cards or Dark Energies. And the reason why we're talking about Dark Energy so much is through Dark Patch. Dark Patch, you know, attach a basic Dark Energy from your Scrum to one of your bench Dark Pokemon. This is the same exact thing as Aqua Patch. It is basically a reprint, but for wider Pokemon. And, and I imagine we'll see a ton of play with Aqua Patch, just like we have seen with Dark Patch. And now it, it, it's still playing on to this day. Um, I think this card's like five or six years old, and people are still playing it, which is fantastic for sure. Uh, one DOS machine, like I said, we usually computer search for consistency. By DOS machine, discard two cards from your hand, put a trading card from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, just so you can reuse Dark Patch, Max Looks, or VS Seeker, there's a ton of useful cards for it. Uh, but usually, people early game, you know, you're like, if I draw a DOS machine early, it's bad. But the same goes with computer search. If you draw computer search late, then it's a bad card, while it's DOS machine does help you reuse like escape ropes and megaphone when you've discarded them already. So that's a really cool card. Uh, for Max Looks, are like combine this before Dark Patch and like your attachment for turn, you can easily get like five or six energies turn one, which is why which which what makes this dark deck so strong. You start doing 120, 140, out of turn one, your opponent's like, whoa, calm down there, how can I handle this? Alright, so one megaphone, discard all tool cards for your opponent's side of the field. Uh four, two trainers well, which is what we see uh kind of interesting because you usually see four trainers well, but we do see them cut down to two. Uh, but I guess there's like space reasons, of course. But four Ultra Ball, four VS to get for consistency. Two Parallel City, put your point down to three, and uh, or yourself down to three. You can just card like a Hoop and Shaman, but this will help you out against a lot against a Mega or Quaza. Uh, two Salt Lab to shut down all basic Pokemon's abilities, which seems counterproductive because you know you're like, oh, I need Dark Ride with Dark Cloak, but a lot of times you don't need your treat anymore. Nobody really plays like Static Condition cards, like uh. You know, Hypnotoxic Laser and like a cell guard and stuff like that. They really don't exist too much anymore um, in this format. Now, there is ways around this. We do play AZ. AZ can pick a Pokemon and return it back into your hand. So you still wait around these static condition decks. But, you know, um, even then, like, Paralyzation can't be used under Dark Cloak. So that doesn't matter here. Uh, sleep can. Can't. Can't. But Poison can. You can retreat out of Poison. You can't retreat out of, um, out of sleep. So, yeah. Uh, Salt Lab still, they can shut down Dax, your opponent can't use Hoopa, they can't use Shaman, they can't do anything, which is great. Uh, one Delinquent, discard a state of player to play, your opponent discards three cards out of their hand, so if they play their hand down on low hand sides, you can link them down to zero, which is really cool to see. Uh, we see one Getsis, 
<coughs> which is very useful and expanded because a lot of people do play a lot of trading cards. Your opponent reveals their hand, shuffles all item cards found there, and uh, you draw for that many cards. So that puts a solid up turn one could shut down your opponent completely. Uh, one Hex Maniac, once again, just shutting down your opponent. One Lysander, which is what? The one card I'm kind of like iffy about, like, one Lysander, what? But, I mean, Sam did make top eight with this, so I'm not going to doubt him at all. Uh, two in, three Juniper. Uh, you can see he does heavily rely on these Shamans and, like, discarding a bunch of cards out of stack. And then using, like, Shaman to build it back up. And, you know, it might seem low trainer cards, uh, supporter cards, because he's only playing five. But the deck's so fast, you play so many cards out of your hand that it's easy to... It's easy to see why he didn't like play solo supporter, card, supporter cards because you could thin your deck out so easily. Uh, but two fighting free will give this Pokemon 40 more HP and 12 dark energy. And there we go, there's a speed dark ride deck. It's probably <clears throat> one of the best lists for sure. I mean, Sam did make top eight with it. Uh, some like some things you can always change up is maybe play computer search. You can maybe cut to link away and hacks if you don't want to play those for more for more junior pers or ends. Uh, maybe more trainer spell if you want that much. If you want those cards, escape rope could be used to help out the active. But there you go, guys. There's a speed darker deck, and we're gonna see a couple games with this deck here in a second. Uh, it is a very fun deck to play, and which is why I play a lot bunch of games with it because it is always fun. A dark patch versus max so you just do a ton of damage. It's a lot of fun. It's a very good deck. But guys, let's see this deck in action. All right, all right. So bring us Iron Mech, uh, maybe a Flareon deck. I'm not sure, but we'll go ahead like always, and uh, let's see what happens. Maybe Volcanian with Grats. I'm not 100% sure. The only thing that comes to mind is like maybe Flareon with all those different types. So, oh no. We start with Shaman, all right? So we start Shaman. Hopefully we talk about like an Ultra Ball. We can Ultra Ball just got license or Dark Energy um, and go crazy turn one. So we'll see what our opponent's playing. I really do think it's easy. I think it is. I think it's, I think it's Flareon. And with Flareon, you could play Care to beat this deck pretty easily. Or you can just go really fast and just beat them before they can do enough damage to knock you out. Both are fine. Uh, both Dark Rides can knock out the 90 HP Pokemon pretty easily. So that's good. And, uh, alright. So there's a Shaman start from my opponent as well. So, we'll put a Dark Energy active and play it in just in case we, like, can retreat it somehow. And one less card we can draw into. And, alright. So we found a Jirachi in a Silent Lab. So we need a Trainer's Mail. Uh, look at tougher cards of our deck, and let's see what do we find here. We find a okay, so nothing, right? Uh, we'll grab a Juniper just to put in our hand. I'm gonna put down a Silent Lab just to shut down our opponent, just in case they have like Ultra Ball for Jirachi, and then we'll pass onto our opponent's turn. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't think they can take a turn one knockout, that'd be pretty insane, even if they get like a turn one. Uh, Vespa Queen, they'll need a ton of stuff to accomplish this. So, Battle Crest and discard three cards out of their deck. Oh, it, I don't think it's Night March because Night March doesn't play Fire Pokemon unless there's some new crazy thing I just don't know about. I really do think it's Flareon though. But we'll see with this compressor what it discards. Uh, maybe Gallade if they're playing like a Gallade version of Flareon and discards. Uh, two eggs and a water, so water is deactivate. Okay, pass, we'll do our turn, alright? So. We tell Dark Darkheart, put that down, and I am just going to Juniper and discard our hand, draw seven new cards, and did that sound lab shut him down? Well, I don't know. Uh, right now, we'll Max Luxor, we'll put a Dark Energy on the Darkrai, we'll attach a Dark Energy, retreat, and just Dark Pulse for 60, saying, hey, if you don't have anything, I'm going to win next turn. I'm going to knock out your Shaman. Now, he could propagate, but with that sound lab play, he cannot propagate to get these executes out of the discard pile. And the Sound Lab is, it might save us. Okay, so there's a Lysander bring it back up to Shaman, and we're going to see a pass for my opponent. And Sound Lab is doing, it doesn't seem like it's doing work, but it's definitely doing something to disrupt our opponent. There's a Shaman coming down, and a pass, oh, to our turn. And this is how strong Shaman is. So we're going to put a Dark Energy in the active, retreat to the Dark Eye, and we are going to do another Dark Pulse for 60 damage. Checking the knockout going down to four price cards. All right, so you see my opponent does have Shaman. They have Execute. They have a bunch of stuff that could... Uh, help them out, but with that sound lab being a play, it does shut them down. All right, so there's a Keldeo, a Water Energy, and we'll see another pass. O to Archer, they can't even use a Russian right now. We're gonna Ultra Ball discard a uh, Hex Maniac and the Delinquent. Uh, we will grab a Dark Rai, okay. Uh, we'll grab the Dark Rai, <coughs> put that down. We already have two Darks in the discard pile, so put a Dark Energy to this guy, and we'll be a Sinker for Sycamore. Uh, discard your hand, draw on seven new cards. Uh, I think one of the mistakes my opponent made was when they played the compressor is they should have discarded a supporter card just in case uh, they found a Pokemon. But with this, we don't find any Max Luxus or anything too crazy. So right now, I'm just going to Dark Pulse for 80. 
Uh, next, we're going to look at the Dark Ride going down to two price cards. Does my opponent top deck anything? It is not looking good for them. I mean, obviously, I just want a Juniper. Maybe put down Dark Ride. And a Victor Screen will come up. And we see the Salab shutting down my opponent. Just saying, you know what? I know you don't have anything. I mean, they had some. They had Shaman. They had Excuse. They could use Propagation. I do think the first mistake was my opponent would need Battle Crusher. He did a discard any supporter cards. And he could have VS-Sinker for that later on. But that Salab does make a big difference. As you saw in that game, it did shut down opponent. Uh, make it where they could not use Shaman to set up for more cards. So Salab is a really strong card and expanded but we'll see another game with the dark right deck here in a second and we'll see what happens all right all right so when it gets fleegus 31 it looks like they're playing a night march deck which the best way to handle night march is like turbo gets us that's really good we also have dark rise with the resistance and night spear which can hurt both people but they will go first and they'll have a turn to use all the item cards so gets us really a uh Maybe still be a strong play turn two, but my opponent can't manipulate their hands. They don't have that many trainer cards, so it might not be too useful turn two. But still, we need to get a turn one. Like, Evatol is really good, because it can knock out Pokemoons and the uh, Joltix pretty easily. We get two Mulligans, which is what you never want to do against Night March. Draw multiple cards. And we start Evatol. We actually have a good hand. We get Ultra Ball, discarding a Dark and an AZ. Uh, grab a Hoopa. You're getting a bunch of stuff. Putting your Dark Energy active. Perilous here down to three. And discard the Hoopa and Shaman that we get with it. So, you know, a good start as long as he's in us. And there's a Thunderous. So he's actually playing a Plasma deck, which I'm a little bit more excited about this. It is a easier matchup, but it's fun to see these older decks for sure. Uh, Ultra Ball discard Shadowtron and a Lysander. But this deck still can beat us. There's a Hoopa. He probably plays, um, uh... Skyfield have a, a, a ton of bitch Pokemon, so that way, like, Deoxys does a ton of damage. He probably plays, like, Lugia, and they ever see Lugia double Deoxys coming out, but we do have the Parallel City, which can put him down to three if he does fill his bitch up. So we see Lugia, uh, Deoxys, we see another Deoxys, does he go crazy turn one, there's a Coral Shade, going on to that Lugia most likely to try to get that turn two Plasma Gale for the knockout, but it is rather hard to be able to knock out, knock out a, uh, a... Fury Belt of Dark Rise. So we see a Muscle Band, a Plasma Energy, and does he have? Okay, there's a switch into the Lugia. It's fairly interesting. And a Juniper discarding his hand, draws seven new cards. Uh, discards some Fesco Kikui, which could help him get, get some big numbers. But does he put the Skyfield down this turn and multiple Pokemon? There's an Acrobite. Go look at the top two cards of his deck. Right now, Parallel City would not be that very useful because it doesn't really discard that much. So DC goes to the active. And a pass, O2 oh, Archer. Alright, so <clears throat> we get a Dark Energy. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard uh, Double Dark. Okay. We'll grab a Hoopa. Alright, so that's Scared Hoopa's prized, okay? Alright, alright. So Jirachi's in there, but Jirachi's probably not that useful. I mean, you got to think he probably played like a bunch of trader cards, something like that. So we'll see Hoopa. We'll grab a Dark Eye, Dark Eye, and a Shaman. Okay. Alright, so grab these three guys. One, two, three. Uh, I'll put down a Dark Eye, put down a Dark Eye, uh, Dark Energy, and Shaman for three new cards. Looking for another Dark Eye X would be phenomenal. But then we can put down Parallel City, put us down to three. Uh, there's Dark Energy, another Shaman. Okay. Um, Shaman doesn't really help us too much. So what I'm going to do right now is just play it in, give us both new hands of six. I do want to save that D that in for the... Uh, Save our parallel city when it's most useful. Uh, right now, Dark Patch is really not that good to play. We have oh, we have Dark Patch. We have two of the discard pile, actually. So a Max Elixir, okay. Uh, put a Dark Energy on the bench. Uh, Dark Rex. We will Trainers, but looking for an Ultra Ball, and we find an Escape on a Max Elixir. So we'll grab a Max Elixir. Uh, we'll play the Max Elixir. Look at top cards of our deck. Uh, put a Dark Energy on the other Dark Rai. And right now, I'm just going to Blivling for 30 damage. Putting a Dark Energy on this Dark Eye with the 1 Energy on it. Now, put it could Life Sander up and maybe take a knockout this turn. Oh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Uh, not so much with the Dark Eye right now. He has a 180 HP. That'd be really hard. There's a Deoxys. All right, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, 170. He'll need a Skyfield plus a Life Sander and a Deoxys. So there's a uh, Plasma Energy going to the active. Okay. 150 HP left. Right now, we're doing 20, 40, 60, 80. He will take a knockout going down to uh, four price cards because that Plasma Gale Overflow, let, I mean, Overflow lets it take another prize card if he takes a knockout. There we see, just going to attack this turn. Uh, not really do too much with his hand, but going down to four price cards, still very scary. All right, so instead of the Dark Ride, 
Oda our turn. Let's see what happens. Well, we get a dark energy. We're gonna dark energy on this guy. We will dark patch, and we need to try to get as many darks as we can this turn. We'll shame it for forty cards, okay? And uh, let's see. There's a parallel city compressor dark patch. I just wish we had another dark ride to put a dark patch on, because I really don't want to put three energy on this guy. But one, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing what twenty. Uh, one to forty. If we dark patch. Alright, so yeah, let's dark patch, just putting on the dark eye, and we will parallel our, our, uh, yeah, we can parallel our opponent down to three, and this means you have to discard the Thunders and our Hoopa, or our Hoopa and like a Deoxys, which is fine for us, and then we get Juniper, I think we will compress first, discard some stuff we really want the discard pile, like, we could end this turn, and uh, but I'd rather like Juniper and draw a bunch of new cards. We need to find another Dark Patch, maybe a little Max Elixir, and he does discard that Thunder Soul Compressor, and with the Compressor, we'll discard. Uh, let's think about this. AZ gets us a Lysander. Those are pretty good cards to discard, and we're just going to Juniper and discard our hand, draw seven new cards. As long as we find a Dark Patch or a Max Elixir, we take a knock on this turn, and they receive a Dark Eater. Okay, Max Elixir needs to hit. And it does not hit, so we will not take a knock on this turn, unfortunately. So we will Dark Pulse be a 10 damage short, doing 140. Oh, that's not good, guys. All right, so my opponent's turn has 10 HP left, no Fighting Female, no Dark Patch. Uh, we could have taken a knockout, but can he take a knockout? Yeah, sure, he can. He can, like, uh, he can uh, put a Sky Fun out, put another Deoxys down, and take a knockout. Or just bump our Stadium, put another Deoxys down, take a knockout. Go down to one Price card, actually. Uh, but then we can end him down to one, and then we can start using in and, and end him down to one, maybe have a bad hand, send knockouts on the Yoxes, okay, but does our opponent find a bump, stay to the bump, so there's a VS Seeker, uh, for press Kikui, okay, uh, that Kikui will allow him to take a knockout this turn, alright, so Kikui for two, uh, gonna take a knockout this turn if he finds an energy, he does not have an energy right now, but after he does this, he'll have, he'll go down to one prize card, and how does he build up energies again? So there's a Plasma going to the active. Oh, we'll see, have Plasma to the Oxus. Okay. Oh, that's a, rape, a Prism. So he could attack our Dark right next turn. All right. So there is a 190 damage going down to one prize card. But we're going to end up down to one. And we got to hope this end does stack. So let's hit up Dark Rai. Oh, to our turn. Can we make a six to one comeback? There is a Evatol, okay? Uh, we'll put down the Evatol. Put a Dark Energy on it and play it in, okay? Uh, put our opponent out of one. We get six. We're looking for another Dark Eye, and we kind of find one. Uh, we get Ultra Ball discarding a, a Megaphone and... We discard Megaphone and the Hex Maniac. We got a... Oh, our other Dark Eye is actually prized. I did not know that. Oh, that's why we could have drawn into it. All right, so the other Dark Eye is prized. Um, we're not gonna grab anything. We'll keep the Jirachi in the deck. We'll put down Salt Lab, and what the Salt Lab does, if my opponent has a Shaman, he can't use it now, and we're gonna use Night Spear, 90, and we're gonna put 30 on the Deoxys just to damage it, and hopefully find a Dark REX off these two cards. And let's see, there's a Via Singer and a Dark Energy, not a Dark REX, and that's what we really need to see. So, to our opponents, we're gonna draw a card. Okay. Um... I think our plan is maybe to load up this Evatol, Lion Suit this guy for a knockout. So put a Dark Energy to this guy. We will Night Spear, 90, 30, this guy, okay. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All right. Uh, we need one more Dark Energy, our Fighting Female, and we can take a knockout on this Deoxys next turn. Um, the only problem is we don't have free retreat right now. So there's a Lugia coming down the field, okay. There's a Special Charge. Going to shuffle some Special Energy back into his deck. All right, Double Plasma Energy, okay. And there's a VS Seeker for a Sycamore. Disc or Juniper, discard their hand, draw 70 cards. All right, so this is what opponent needed to get back into the game. So see Juniper, discard their hand, draw 70 cards. But they need a ton of stuff, and we can end it back to one. He needs like a DCE, double cold machine, and some other stuff to bump the Sound Lab as well. Because right now he is not going to do a ton of damage with that Lugia, because Sound Lab does shut down the Helix Force, or the Power Connect. So we see a, pl a, pl a Prism Energy, we see a Cold Machine. Gonna put a cold stream on the active, and we'll see a helix force for the uh, not for a knockout, but a ton of damage for sure. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. But we can't send the Evatol, end him down to one. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna have to discard double darks, but that's fine. 
Uh, so let's see, he looks for us for... Uh, 150, like, three resistance, he could have 170. Uh, there's a Dark Energy, so we'll Dark Energy the Evital. Uh, Alright, so let's see, two, four, okay, so actually what I'm gonna do right now is just retreat to the Evital. Play VS Seeker for an in. We could AZ up the Dark Ray, actually, and make it where he can't take a knockout, but rather in, uh, just put him out one card. Forced to have a Lysander plus an Energy this turn. Uh, so what about one? Keep the keep that out. There's a dark energy link. So next to we can knock out this Deoxys, and we will just Eva Ball for the knockout. Uh, going down to two prize cards. So see what's going to happen here, guys. Take those two prize cards. We find a fighting female and a dark ride. He does want to have an energy plus a Lysander, a plasma energy. All right. So since the Deoxys up, he looks like he's confident right now. Has two plasma energy this card pile. There's a, a thunder coming down, and he does not have a knockout. There's a trade as well. It does not matter what he does here. He cannot win the game. There's the Juniper, but the Juniper does not guarantee him the game and we will take this game no matter what uh 20 40 60 80 90 Ooh, no if he retreats into the thunderous he actually can buy him a turn um all right so it's not over just yet if he doesn't find a way to retreat this deoxys and keep the energy on it then we do not take a knockout one two three four five with the fear bells a knockout so uh yeah we'll see can I put a retreat to Deoxys? It does have a two retreat cost. Uh, he'll need like an energy and then an energy for Deoxys. So like, there's an Ultra Ball. Okay, let's see what. Okay, discard the Juniper and a Megaphone. Megaphone really not useful right now. There's no tools on our side of the field. Okay. There's a Kyrum coming down. Um, all right. So Kyrum will come down onto the field. All right, that Plasma card with the Frost Spear and the Blizzard Burn. Oh boy, does he have energy plus a Core Tree to win with the uh, Kyrum? How many play? How many? Oh, he's played three cold machines. Okay, there's a trainers, but look at top four cards of his deck. This care does let you hit the bench for 30 damage, which could knock out our darker X. Oh boy! So there's a switch. Does he have it? I'm actually fine with the switch play, and uh, yeah, the switch play is better for us because we can lie under the deoxys back up and take a knockout this turn. While a switch, why if you if he retreats, then it, that doesn't work. All right, so. Uh, does we want to have a switch, core speed, and a, and a plasma energy? All right, so nope. Go to Tetris to the Thunders, and we should be able to win the game. There's a switch into the Thunders, and we actually win the game thanks to that switch. All uh, right, because one, two, three, four, five, 100 plus the Fighting Fury 110, and we'll take a knockout with our Eva Talyax. And on our turn, we'll put a Fighting Fury on the active, we'll put a Dark Energy, we will via Seeker for a Lysander, bring up that Deoxys, and we will take this game all right so come here mr deoxys thank you for switching and not retreating because we would we would have not won this turn so we even ball for the knockout doing 110 exactly and that's why those dark rice uh bench damage is so good there's our other dark rice price two dark rice and i uh, think even tall we were able to take the game but we'll see another game with the deck here in a second and uh We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see some crazy dark rise uh, games. But uh, guys, one more game with the deck, and we'll see what happens. All right. Well, well, well hold on. Let's see. Oh, one ticket. All right. All right. We'll see what happens in the next game. Okay. All right, guys. But against top bras. Ooh, they're also playing a ooh a speed dark rise mirror match. All right. So uh, this should be exciting, right? 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 Exciting. Uh, so we lost coin flip. We'll be going second, but maybe we'll get that turn one attack off uh, since we are going second. <laughs> And put the pressure on maybe that way, um, which is something we could do. So my opponent is going to go first. Of course, you want to go first. <sighs> All right, so we start Evotol, which, I mean, it's not too bad, um, especially if we top like a Dark Energy, because Ultra Ball just got Perilous to need Dark. Get a Hoofa, Scoundering. Get, like, a Dark Eye, Dark Eye, and Shaman. And then, like, double Max Luxor, maybe Dark Patch number one. I mean, we had the opportunity to have a crazy turn one, uh, for sure. Like, for sure, for sure. And, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We just gotta hope our hoop is not prized. As long as it's not prized, we're good to go. So let's go Eva us all. Let's, let's start this party, guys. Let's see who's gonna take this down. I mean, our turn one is insane. As, I mean, especially with like a Dark Energy. Oh, my lord. All right, so two Pokemon coming down from our opponent. We'll press done. And let's see what is going to happen. So it's Evil Tall, Dark Rider, and Dark Rider. Okay. Maybe we can find that Escape Probe as well. Bring up another Dark Rider, smack them for a ton of damage. That's something that we could do. That would be really cool. All right, Strange Mill. Look at top for cards of his deck. And uh, let's see what Top Brawl has got for us. So nothing with the Strange Mill. 
Uh, Battle Compressor, discard three good darks out of their deck. Okay. All right, if we tell deck a Battle Compressor, we'll discard double dark and maybe a second more, then Ultra Ball, discard Perilous City and, and Max Luxor, and then go crazy. All right, so discards a dark dark and something else. Uh, a second more, okay. So there's a dark patch number one. Do the dark right. All righty, so number one. Obviously a VS Sick or Sycamore, so Dark Patch number two. The opponent also has a turn one good start right now. Alright, so Dark Patch number two onto the Dark Eye. Okay. And VS Sick for Sycamore, discard their hand, draw in seven new cards. So two Dark Injuries are on my opponent's side of the field, so right now they're doing 60. There's a Sycamore, and this is going to be an intense game to swing like huge numbers and see who's going to make the misplay. Who's going to draw better? I don't know how this mirror match goes. All right, uh, Dark Knight to Dark Eye. Do we see any Max Elixirs? Maybe. Um, there's an Ultra Ball. I'm gonna discard two cards from their hand. Maybe another Dark Energy. Maybe something else. So an Ultra Ball and a second more. Okay, will we see a Hoopa? Um, Hoopa could at least get into the Dark Eye and a Shaman, which is not too bad. So nope, just gonna grab a Shaman, set it for three, which means maybe their Hoopa's priced. But our turn one, it, it's going to be insane. It, as long as we find an escape rope. <laughs> an escape rope would be really cool to get. The Shaman for three. Okay. Then we see a pass. Um, another Dark Rite hit the field. And a pass onto our turn. Alrighty. So there's an Ultra Ball. So I'm going to Ultra Ball discard an Ultra Ball in Parallel City. I am going to grab a Hoopa. Okay. With the Hoopa, we'll use a Scoundering Search for three. Three new EX Pokemon. We will grab a Dark Ride, Dark Ride, and a Shaman. Alrighty, and let's see what kind of turn we can have. So Dark Ride, Dark Ride, Shaman, come in our hand. We'll put down one, two, Max Elixir, a Dark Energy on this guy, <clears throat> Max Elixir again, Dark Energy on this guy. Okay, we we'll go Shaman for four. Let's see, maybe Ultra Ball, Double Dark Energy, and a Sycamore. Alright, all right. so we got a, a Dark Energy from the active. We can retreat into the Dark Eye. Put a Fighting Fury on the active. Play another Max Elixir. Dark Energy on the Dark Eye X. We can put down Silent Lab. And Dark Pulse, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110. Alright, so barely missing the knockout. One more Dark Energy would have had it, but that's fine. Uh, he might just use it. Maybe use the blue one. He can't retreat right now because the Sot Lab's in play. Shutting down his Dark Cloak. Okay. Mm. Uh, we could swing for a knockout, right? Hmm. What do we do afterwards? Our hand's not good. We only have double Dark Bash. So dark Energy to Dark Cry. Right? Okay. Maybe we'll take a life and we can bring a shame take a knock on it, which is really cool, because we need to find another dark eye. There's Sycamore, uh, discarding an in and a dark energy and a dark patch, okay. Hmm. Alright. That's fine with me. We use three max external, which is crazy. Alright, so trainers mill, 20, 40, 60, 80. He's only doing 100 right now. Which is the same amount I did, except I had a fear belt, so. Okay, so Trainer's Mill, let's see, what does he find? He is down three Dark Patches. We haven't played a single one just yet, which is great for us for the late game. Um, like, if we talk to like, a Sycamore, I'm definitely just going to take a knockout going out of five. There's a, oh, a Hypnotoxic Laser. Ooh, fancy. All right, so that's a car we usually see in Speed Dark, right? So Hypnotoxic Laser. Heads, oh man, so heads, we are asleep. Laser, automatic poison of heads, flip coin of heads, we are asleep. Bloodstone to the active. Oh, buddy. Uh, Fear Belt to the bench, Dark Rye. And he's actually doing 120, but do we wake up or do we stay asleep? This could be a game changer. All right, Darker coming up. Uh, Battle Presser, okay, so discard three cards out of their deck. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright. Do we wake up or not? I hope we wake up and hit a Lysander, because I'm going to Lysander the Shaman. Oh, or do we hit this guy for not, for 110? I don't know. Uh, okay, so Ultra, uh, Bad Press just got the Lysander and something else. Okay. 
We'll see a Dark Pulse doing 110 plus Poison 120. All right, and do we wake up or not? All right, so we top deck it in. All right, so we need to find an escape rope this turn. Okay, there's a Dark Energy, Ultra Ball, Dark Patch, and an escape rope. Okay, so I'm going to... Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to escape, escape rope. Okay. Let's see, who does he bring up? I mean, if he brings up this Evital, what I'm going to do is Parallel City. I probably should have, no, okay, we're going to set up Darkrai. Okay. I'm going to Ultra Ball discard. Mmm. Man. Yeah, I'm going to have to discard one and two. Uh, for an Evital. I'm going to put down Evital, put a Dark Energy on it. Parallel City, make it where I have fear Pokemon. Uh, discarding the Shaman and the Hoopa. Retreat and take a knockout. Yep, that's the plan right now. Alright, so we go down to five. Okay, I yeah, know there's no dark energy, that's fine. We go down to five. We get a dark. Okay, there's a dark REX, okay. Alright, so no opponents, let's we'll see what happens. Does he find a VS to get for Lysander? He's already played two, so he's down two so far. There's a max looks here, okay. Alright, so Dark Energy's a Dark Eye. Does he have a VS ticket for a Lysander? Another max looks here, okay. Dark Energy's Dark Eye, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. He's doing 150. <laughs> Another Dark Eye hitting the field. A Battle Compressor, so a third Battle Compressor, okay. Alright, so we're still in top deck mode though. 100% still in top deck mode. He's gonna take a knockout. Looks like it doesn't look like he has a VS Seeker right now, but we can Dark Pulse hit this Dark Heart for turn of damage, and then we need to find. We just need to find a support card. End to be fine. I'm fine with the end. A VS Seeker. There's an AZ being discarded. Okay. Does he have a VS Seeker for Lysander? So there's the end. All right, so we'll get five new cards. He gets six, and let's see what kind of turn we can have here. So via Seeker, Hex, Maniac, Shaman, and Max looks here. All right. <clears throat> there's a Max looks here. Okay. Man, there's so many energies on the field right now. I'm not even lying to you. So Dark Energy to Dark Eye. Okay. Oh, my. He has three Dark Eyes powered up. Okay. And the Eve all coming down. Okay. We'll see a knockout, so we'll go to five to five. So there's a Dark Pulse for the knockout doing 190. Alright, so right now what I'm going to do is promote this Evital. And I'm going to think a second and see what I want to do here. So he's doing 190, which knocks out a lot of guys. Okay, I think I'm just going to promote this Dark Rai, uh, Dark Energy, Max Elixir, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, 150. And then it's a triple, it's a double mm, Night Spear attack, maybe. Okay. So on our turn, we get a Dark Patch, right? So we're going to Dark Patch to the Evital. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's Max Luxor. There's a Dark Energy on the Dark Eye. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. All right, so I need to. We don't have a Sycamore. All right, so I'm gonna put a dark in this guy, and and hacks and dark pulse. Okay. On to our opponent's turn. He'll take a knockout, go down to three. But then we can see a dark guy use knife spear. Uh, he, if he wants to retreat, he has to discard two energies off this Darkrai. 
which I think is a good play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive that's a good play. All right, so Dark Patch. Okay. To the Evital. Um, he could retreat in like Oblivion, but that doesn't seem very good. Um, either way, I'm gonna be a secret for and try to okay, darken a dark eye. Okay, let's see, retreat. Let's give dark okay, so he is gonna retreat to the other dark eye. Okay, all right, <clears throat> so this is a VS secret for AZ. I think that's what we're gonna see. Here's an AZ. Oh boy. Oh, for a second more. Okay, but if he's second more, he has one card left. Does he know this? So, Flowstone to the Shaman. Alright, so he has one card left, actually. He has played three VS Seekers. Okay. Why would he not AZ up this dark, right? So, Max looks like he has one card left in his deck. He's played two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a very interesting move by my opponent. You would think he would VS Seeker that turn for AZ to pick up that damage Darkrai. Alright, so Dark Pulse for 180. Take it to Knockout. <clears throat> Going down to th uh, 3. But he's doing 180 damage. We need to find... Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to send up... Uh, a Dark RX, okay? On our turn... We get a dark patch, okay? So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, he's doing 100 right now. I'm going to VS Seeker for N. I need to save my dark patches for another Dark Pulse Dark Bar, uh, Dark Rai. So we'll end, or another Night Spear one. Either one's fine. All right, so we don't find anything really. So much training is well trying to find an Ultra Ball. Which, we have a Douse Machine, which doesn't really help us because that doesn't get us anything. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna grab the dark patch. Okay. Let's see. We can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred. We can do a hundred, and the next turn I can knock out dark ray. Make him have five energies left. And then we can maybe delink with him down to low hand size. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. See, so yeah, what I'm going to do right now is retreat into the Evital. I'm putting the Dark Energy active. And no, not. Wait, we're in an Evil Ball, okay? So an Evil Ball for 120. Which means next turn a Night Spear can knock it out. All right, so we're going to draw a card. And we can put 30 damage on this Dark Rai. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so let's see what's gonna happen. He can retreat into the other Dark Rai. Uh to this Dark Pulse Dark Rai, which is what he probably should do. He's doing 180 right now. If we find a Fury Belt, he can't knock us out immediately, but we're still in trouble. So there's a Dark Energy Dark Rai, okay. So he's doing uh 200. Hmm. Alright, so he has an attack with the active, dude. 200. He definitely should have retreated to this guy. I don't know why he didn't. Um, because we're gonna take two energies off the field. Alright, so on our turn, we need to find... Okay, there's a trainer spell. Play trainer spell. Look, it's off a guard, different deck. Um, I'm gonna grab a Juniper just to thin our deck out. I am gonna compress her. Okay. Discarding... Okay, so we need a fear belt. That's what we need here. I'm going to discard the megaphone. Okay, no, I'm going to... Oh my goodness, we, can, we can't win this turn, but we can do some crazy stuff. So I'm going to discard... Okay. Alright, so I'm going to discard Sound Lab, AZ, and a Juniper. Okay. I want a Juniper, discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Can we find a uh, megaphone this turn? And we do find a mega so, so what we could do is megaphone, get rid of both those tools, fighting fear with the active, put down dark pulse dark right, put a dark energy, and we get night spear, uh taking four prize cards this turn. Oh my goodness, that setup right there. Alright, so take four prize cards, one and two. 
There's a Getsus Drachi. Okay. We'll take another two cards. And we could, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to do 120. And next turn, we get a license of shaman to win the game. All right. So dark coming up. We'll go down to one. There's a dark patch and a VS Seeker. All right. So, I mean, we're looking fine right now. It looks like we can win this game. We actually don't have lice into the discard pile but we can douse the machine to put the battle press put lice into the discard i thought it was already in the discard pile that was me my fault oh there's a hypnotoxic laser okay let's see what does he get with that it's a heads all right there's an evil saw coming down okay dark energy active it's gonna do a hundred. It does not knock us out. This dark hit will not knock us out. It'll do a hundred and seventy. What is that Pokemon? Is that a Keldeo? It is a Keldeo X. Okay, so Keldeo X will come down the field. All right. Hmm. It's gonna come down to this coin flip. If we wake up or not. <clears throat> if we wake up, we win the game. If we do not wake up, um. Yeah, if we if we don't wake up, then we have to AZ. So a uh, hex maniac, okay. All right, we can also douse machine. We need okay. What we need happen is top deck. Um, <laughs> our Lysander. If we top deck Lysander, we win the game no matter what because we get douse machine for escape rope. Okay, so there's a hundred. Okay, all right, put 10 down. All right, and heads, we wake up and we'll win this game. Oh my goodness. So we will. Um, wait, hold on. Do we win our. I'm trying to make sure. I'm trying to figure out how to do this math. Okay, so. We could. And I just. I thought Lyson was in our discard pile, but it's not. All right, so I'm a douse machine. No, we need Dark Patch first, okay. Dark Patch to Dark Eye. We will Douse Machine. Discarding one and two. To grab an Escape Rope. Okay. Will Escape Rope make him switch out? And let's see if he brings up here. Hmm. All right, so grab me up the shaman. What? Now we just win. Why would he do that? All right, so my plan, what I was going to do was... What just happened? Um. Okay, so my pl what I was planning on doing was maybe AZ and this guy. Or, what? okay, what I was really going to do was see what was in his discard pile. And deciding why did he do that was such why would he send up shaman? I don't know, but we'll take it. That megaphone play was amazing. We were discarded and discarded and knock out four Pokemon. That was insane. But guys, that is uh that's a dark art game right there. That was pretty insane. I just don't know why my opponent sent up that. He made some really questionable moves. I mean he could have sent up the dark ride. And had one card on hand. I don't know how many resources he had left, like VS Seekers and Lysanders. But yeah, guys, there we go. We will take that victory for sure. But guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Expanded Thursday. You can see why this Dark Ride deck is so much fun and why the mirror match is crazy. I mean, that was pretty insane turn one for both of us. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let's see stats. We did we did 700 and he did 840 damage. But we still win the game. That's all that matters. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors. Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.